Hello and welcome to In My Element. This biology lesson is on plant nutrition. Firstly, I want you to have a look at how, have a think about how plants get the nutrients they need for growth. We know that they need a variety of different things, one of those being water that we talked about for photosynthesis, but how do they get all the other things that they need? You take a look at this picture here, it's of a tree, and you can see the image there shows what's underground, and we're looking at the root system. So it's really important to know that plants have an extensive root system, and this is essential in helping them stay anchored. That means that if there's wind or animals pulling at them, they stand a better chance of remaining in the ground and surviving. Now, plants are able to spread their roots um, to absorb water and nutrients from the soil. So the roots are essential in that. And where the roots go will um, affect the chances that the plants have of getting more water and nutrients. We've talked about water already, and we've got to remember that the water is essential for photosynthesis to happen. It's a reactant in photosynthesis. And remember, we looked at that equation in lesson one. Now here in this picture, you can see that the root system um, goes quite deep, but it actually doesn't go too far along here. OK, and that's because there's plenty of things deep down in the soil, plenty of nutrients and of water for the trees to get. If this tree was in an area where there was less water, you would see the root system stretching out at the surface to absorb any water that hits the surface of that earth so that they make the most of it. In a plant's root, there are cells specifically designed and adapted to absorb water and survive underground. So they don't have some of the cell organelles that your normal plant cell might have. For example, chloroplasts. These root cells aren't going to be photosynthesizing. Take a look at them. The example of this is a root hair cell. This is what we're talking about. So it looks different to your average plant cell you'll notice there's no chloroplasts in there that I just mentioned. Let me just look at the different parts. So we've got the cell wall, like in your um, standard plant cell. Also got a cell membrane there. Cell wall gives the structure, cell membrane allowing uh, movement of substances. And there's the vacuole where it will hold um, some of the liquids, so the water, or the nutrients in solution. And you can see here, you've got um, the blue circles representing the water and the green circles representing the nutrients. What you've also got, which is probably the most important part, is this root hair extension. This increases the surface area of the root hair cell to make sure that the plant can absorb as much water and nutrients from the soil to take in to the cell and then to be transported through phloem and xylem up through into the plant so that photosynthesis can happen.